Hi everyone, so today I'm making a carrot banana bread and it's ever so simple and this is how I'm getting it together. So firstly, in my wet ingredients, I've got some bananas, some coconut sugar, or you could use honey. I've got some milk, some vanilla essence, and I'm going to blend it all up together. So today I'm baking with spelt flour, which is a really wholesome, healthy, whole wheat nutritious grain. It is packed with various minerals and nutrients. Along with it, I've got some ginger, some cinnamon, some nutmeg, some bicarbonate soda, some baking powder and some salt. So I'm lightly just going to combine all the dry ingredients together. And I'm now going to add my wet mixture into my dry and mix it all up. So I'm going to blend this together, the wet and the dry. I've combined the wet and the dry. Now I'm going to add in my carrots. And over here, I've got a tablespoon of pecans, almonds, a tablespoon of raisins, cranberries, and dry figs. That's all going to be added in. Fold all the ingredients together. So I've combined the carrots and the dry fruit and the nuts, and now I'm going to pour it into my greased loaf tin. I'm going to sprinkle some cinnamon sugar on the top. The loaf goes into the oven to bake for 30 to 35 minutes at 180. So I've just taken the cake out of the oven at exactly 30 minutes and it's perfectly baked. I'm going to let it cool and I'm going to do a cream cheese frosting. For my cream cheese icing, I've got two tablespoons of cream cheese, two tablespoons of xylitol icing sugar, a teaspoon of vanilla essence and a tablespoon of milk. And I'm just going to beat it all up and then pour it over the cake. You end up with a really creamy, smooth cream cheese frosting, which I'm going to now put over my cool down cake. So I've put my cream cheese on top of the cake and I'm just going to spread it out. I'm going to top it up with some pistachios and some cranberries. So my carrot and banana cake is finally done. It's time to slice in and enjoy with a cup of coffee or some Karak chai.